They say to actors that they shouldn't work with animals and children, but I don't think they've said anything about teddy bears. Um, I want to talk to you today, I want to tell you a story today about uh, a lady who spent 30 years working with teddy bears and uh, it's an amazing story. Let me introduce you to Kay Cooper. Okay, so I started um, at when we were absolutely stony cold broke. Brian and I had, um, Brian was studying and I had always wanted to make bears, um, but I was too frightened to spend the money on a kit. So Brian actually just went out one day and bought the kit and brought it home and said, well, I've spent the money, so you have to do it. So I started making bears then, it's nearly 30 years ago now, um, and that was it. I just loved it and kept going from there. So. Um, I focus really strongly on their facial features and their eyes and everything so um, I, quite a few people tell me they look like sad dogs or remind them of their dog or whatever um, but I, w I work really hard on their eyes and putting expression into their faces so um, I think that's probably the most unique thing about them. We have a teddy bear hospital and I actually make bears and sell them all over the world as well so yeah lots and lots of teddy bear repairs at the moment because everybody's staying home and digging out their old bears from, from their cupboards. So I've got heaps of old bears and dogs and cats and all sorts of things coming through. So yeah, lots and lots of repairs. I've written a couple of books. We've written, um, we have a little bear that was traveling all over the world called Bucket. So we wrote a book about Bucket, a kid's book, and someone, uh, a lady called Sarah, illustrated that for me. Um, and then just recently we wrote another book about a bear called Dud, who is a little less than perfect. I was privileged a couple of weeks ago to read it on the Duchess of York's YouTube channel. So Story time with Fergie and friends. Okay, oh, just thank you so much for watching Fergie and friends and now to do this amazing reading. You just are very special and I cannot thank you enough for your time. Dad. The Bear Who Is A Little Less Than Perfect by Kay Cooper No one really knows how Dud became what he was. Some say that the machine he was stitched on was not working quite right the day he was made. Still others say that it was the way he was stored when he was finished. However it happened, Dud was, in fact, a little less than perfect. Um, that story has been um, used now for the last few years to help children who are not feeling completely happy with who they are feel a bit better about themselves and that it's okay to be different and it's okay to be less than perfect. The Gravelands Primary School used it for a program with um, Art versus Depression for um, a program there that started the Resilient Friends Club so um, that was a catalyst for that and the story, um, Gracie used the story to write a program for that. Uh, I think with the story of Dud, the, the fact that he isn't perfect and that he en ends up finding someone who loves him as he is, um, I think that with, with children they actually can, even though it's a teddy bear, it's a non-threatening way that they that they can relate to the, to the stories. And so they can still go through all the emotions that Dud goes through, but still separate themselves enough to not feel like it's over the top for them. So that the bears are really good for that. Also, when a when a child is holding a teddy, there's just something that opens up their heart a little bit more to um, to being able to talk and I, for several times I've had children that have come in to get their bears repaired and we've given them the story um, of dad and they get oh look they start to feel sorry for dad and then like what's going to happen and I'm like it's always going to work out okay because there will always be people who love you just as you are. It's been wonderful to watch kids respond because they're the response is always wonderful and you, you, you can almost see a relief with some of the kids because we... The teddy bear may seem like such a simple thing, and yet in the hands of Kay Cooper, the teddy bear has become a, a tool. It's become the, the means by which both joy and healing have been shared with so many people. What a brilliant story that's been. Thanks for listening. <laughs>